Well, hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm delighted you decided to join me today. I'm Dr. T. I'm a board certified internal medicine, cardiology, that's physiology and lifestyle medicine. My latest passion. Today we're going to review the previous video. We're going to look at the top 10 tips to reduce salt in our diet. You're going to ask the big question, how much will I gain if I reduce the sodium in my diet? And we will end up with uh, quiz time. In the last video, you looked at 10 signs and symptoms that you may be eating too much sodium from having a higher blood pressure than usual, uh, swelling around your eyes and your ankles, feeling uh, bloated. And, and today, we're going to consider 10 tips to cut down the sodium in our diet. So let's dive uh, into it. Uh, number 10, uh, cut back on processed foods because more than 70% of the salt in our diet comes from processed foods and restaurant foods. So that's where uh, the money is. For instance, the salt added at the table, the salt shake is only responsible for about 5% of our sodium that we have in our diets. And even the cooking at home, the, uh, it's about 6%. So we have to concentrate where uh, really what the money is. Number nine, you're going to cut back on restaurant foods and if you go out we can ask for low sodium alternatives when dining out. It will make a difference and many places could actually accommodate us. Uh, number eight, cooking at home. Obviously if you're cooking at home you will have control over the ingredients. We have uh, uh, options instead of salt we could use spices, her uh, herbs and uh, so even salt uh, substitutes. Uh, number seven, if you're going to eat uh, salty food just eat uh, a smaller portion, eat uh, less. Uh, number six, uh, give sodium a rinse. If you bought like a can of beans with a high sodium, you could rinse it. It will eliminate a significant amount of the sodas. Uh, have you learned anything uh, new so far? Let's keep going. We are halfway through. Number five, salt substitutes. They actually decrease the risk of stroke, heart attacks and deaths. There was an article last year on New England Journal of Medicine about this. Most are potassium chloride. We have to be aware there are medications that increase the potassium uh, like uh, some potassium sparing diuretics, other uh, types of medications, ACE inhibitors and ARBs. Uh, they all, all could increase the amount of potassium in your blood. You have to be careful. If you have any kidney disease, you don't want to use these salt substitutes without talking to your uh, physician or healthcare provider uh, first. Number four use herbs and spices instead of uh, uh, salt. Number three, we have to learn to read uh, labels. Uh, they are not easy, but we have to uh, learn the basics. And if it says salt free, usually it's less than five milligrams of sodium per serving. If it says uh, very low sodium, is less than 35 milligrams of sodium per serving. If it says just low sodium, it still has 140 milligrams of uh, sodium per serving. If they use the word reduced sodium or reduced salt, is 25% less than the usual product. And if it says light in sodium, is less than 50%. And obviously you want to look for labels that says no salt added. They still may have a small amount of sodium because the natural foods have significant amount of sodium, but it is insignificant. Um, number two, uh, buy fresh or frozen, so there is no uh, added uh, uh, sodium uh, and those uh, circumstances. Number one, uh, we look at the items with milligrams of sodium per serving equal or less than the number of calories per serving. And we'll give uh, several examples on this to make it clear. For, for instance, this can of beans has uh, 880 milligrams of uh, uh, sodium per uh, cup. If you look at the amount of uh, uh, calories, is three times the amount of sodium in milligrams than the number of calories. It's certainly not a good option. If you look at this teriyaki sauce, uh, for instance, uh, per tablespoon has 640 milligrams of sodium, a way uh, to way too much, way too much. If you look at French bread, uh, one slice uh, will have 837 milligrams. 
443 milligrams per 200 uh, calories, so way too much milligrams of sodium by the number of calories. You want to look for uh, better alternatives. For instance, this uh, can of beans on the left has 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, on the right 380 milligrams. Big uh, difference in fact. You want to look for uh, labels that says no salt added. And, um, and here's an example on this uh, label. You have uh, uh, 50 milligrams of sodium per 80 calories per serving, so way much less milligrams of sodium than uh, calories. This is ideal. If you look at this uh, label, it says 110 calories and then says 410 milligrams per serving. Uh, not, not, not a good option for sure. The problem with them, uh, too much sodium is because contributes to high blood pressure that aggravates and uh, is a significant risk factor for heart attacks and strokes and even uh, Alzheimer's. If you look at the average American uh, has 34 milligrams of sodium per day. If you could cut down 1,000 milligrams of sodium, will decrease 35,000 heart attacks, 23,000 uh, strokes, and 32,000 deaths per year. Really a big deal. Obviously there are other things you could do to decrease uh, all blood pressure, more fruits and vegetables, exercise, lose weight, no, no smoking. In uh, conclusion, we have to, we know that salt is ubiquitous in our food. 70% or more comes from processed foods and restaurant food. We know that not everybody is salt sensitive. With a bit of knowledge and effort, we could cut down our salt intake and cutting down 1,000 milligrams of sodium uh, in our diet per day will prevent thousands of heart attacks, strokes, and uh, uh, death. It's uh, quiz time. Uh, which uh, statements are true? Uh, of these different types of uh, salts, Himalayan salts, kosher salts, sea salt, uh, do they have the same amount of sodium or not? And the answer is all types of salt have the same amount of sodium. Uh, the only difference, they may have some trace minerals that give a different color, a different uh, taste, but the amount of sodium is the same. Uh, next question, uh, consuming too much sodium will increase your risk of which of the following? High blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke, and the answer is all of the above. For the next video, we'll have two more questions, and uh, where does most of the sodium uh, we eat come from? And the next question, uh, what some, next are some ways you can reduce your sodium uh, consumption will answer these uh, questions on the next uh, uh, video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, allow notifications so we are alerted when I post a new video, write a comment, ask a question. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. I'll publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's take control. See you next video.